Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Last time it was part one of the series, and we defeated um, two people, Taylor Gardner as well as Tristan Taylor. And this time we are moving on to Ryu Bakura slash Bakura. I don't know why the hell they put his last name first, but okay. So let's duel Bakura. Now this guy, he's pretty average at best. I don't think it'll be a problem for us either, but we'll see. Let's guess what I got. Spellbinding Circle, alright. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put... I'm gonna put this card in defense, but Mystical Elf. I'm gonna put... I guess these two face down. And end turn. Alright. So let's see what Bakura's first turn will be. A face down, and that's it. Seriously? Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Crazy Fish. Now, he might actually destroy me. I'm pretty sure these guys have some pretty decent cards, decent traps, you know? Okay, maybe not. Never mind what I just said. Complete the turn. How did you not draw a single freaking monster? Are you kidding me? Still nothing? Oh my god. Um, okay, this one's... I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that for now. I'm gonna summon Man-Eating Treasure Chest. Okay, so now I have two monsters to attack with. Declare, nope, whatever, nothing, nothing. Oh my god, shut up. Wait, I'm gonna see one thing. Okay, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if Spellbinding Circle could actually target your own monsters too. But no, the reason why that message keeps coming up is because of stupid graceful dice. Okay, so if he draws no monster, they actually win. That fast. Okay, he did actually put a monster. Skull Mariner. Alright, well... Let's see. Hmm. That might actually help. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use it right now. Alright, graceful dice, here we go. Roll a die. A six, nice. That's a plus six hundred to every single monster. Now, if you have like a two thousand defense, then well, it's useless. I'm just saying it's useless. Oh my god, I got so lucky with that. Jeez. Yeah, so I just beat this guy in like three minutes. That's actually like a record for me. It might be. I don't know. I mean, that's super fast. He did only put one freaking monster in the entire duel. That might be part of it. Okay, so... Moving on to this one, the Black Skull Dragon pack. Hmm... Nothing useful, even that, no. Kazujin is not a good card. It's not. Okay. This time, I am moving on to True Steel. So this guy's actually pretty freaking annoying at this stage in the game. He's gonna have a lot of cards that can annoy the living shit out of you, you'll see. And hopefully it doesn't play any of them. Oh, what? No monsters, but four face downs. Hmm. I'm gonna summon Witch of the Black Forest because I'm most likely I'm gonna get destroyed. Jar of Greed? Okay, that's fine. He does have Exodia. I mean, it says in the freaking name, you know? So he does have some pretty decent draw power, and what the hell? No cards to stop me, huh? I mean, I summoned Witch because I was like gonna get destroyed, I thought. So I could at least use the effect of Witch. What is going on here? Not a single monster. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Trap Hole. Chain. Jar of Greed. Okay, at least I know for a fact that those cards are not going to be activated. Because he didn't use them last turn. Yep. Because the two cards he drew, or he set, were Trap Hole and Jar of Greed. Okay, yeah, what you got? Right, Geki, that's fine. I'll just go to use the effect. So I'm going to summon... Or not summon, but I'm gonna have Vorse Raider, I think. Yeah, I'll get Vorse Raider. 
Sounds like a good choice. Lucky Trinket. Um, nah. Honestly, too little damage. Way too little. Okay, so I have way too many cards now. Let's go ahead and use, uh, let's set this card down to our Spread of the Silence, and let's go ahead and put... Vorse Raider. No! What are you... Oh, shit. You actually fooled me, man. That means you didn't use Trap Holy. Yeah, so you guys are getting smarter now, unlike the Eternal Duel Soul, where they always used a card first, you know? Giant Turtle who feeds on flames and called the Haunted to... Oh my god. This just got real. Shit just got real. Hmm. Yeah. I can use this. So this card, when, uh, it says, This card can only be activated during your opponent's battle step, and get the attack of one monster and select another one of your opponent's face-up monsters and have it attack. Might as well use it. Even though you, you did attack with the other one, but the thing is, I have Karibo, though. So... I can select that one now. Full attack, but I can discard Karibo that way. I pretty much came unharmed in this turn. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's just hope that you don't freaking destroy me. Oh my... Okay, that's fine. Blow yourself up. Okay. This guy's freaking smart though, man. Like, he's actually smart. He's using his card smartly. Like, luckily, he just, I don't think he's close to getting Zodia. He just saw another shitty monster, that's fine. And he's pretty much all out of trap cards. I'm assuming those two cards in his hand are Exodia pieces because he's not using them for anything at all. Okay, so I just threw another Gamma the Magnet Warrior, so I could summon either Gamma or Shining Abyss. I'm gonna go with Shining Abyss. I'm gonna keep Fissure for now, there's no need to be doing that, you know? I might as well save it for the future if I have to use it later on. So let's go ahead and attack with Shining Abyss. That'll deal 1,000 damage too, so now you're down to 4,800 life points. Pretty nice, I must say. Okay. What you got? Oh, what the hell? Monster Reborn, huh? So actually, you did not have Exodia. <laughs> like Exodia pieces there. Now the problem is that you were kind of smart in who you chose to revive. I could use Fissure, so I gotta use Fissure right now, actually. Let's do it. Chain? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, that's fine. Use your stupid jar of breeze, I don't care. Okay. I can summon Master Kionchi, my second strongest uh, four-star monster in my deck. Which is pretty sad, I have no 1800 attackers, that's... I can't believe that, man, I really can't. Okay, so he's down to 1450 life points, almost got this, man, almost got this. Don't you dare draw swords of revealing light. Cause like, oh my god. Oh no! That's bad, you're gonna summon me? Okay, that's fine, that's okay, that's okay, that's fine. Genin, okay. As you can see, this guy, he's pretty annoying. He could have a pretty decent deck. Yeah, he did just put another face down, which I'm afraid of. I'm gonna go ahead and summon... Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Okay, now let's see what you got. Okay, you're down to now 550, pretty good. So you're still nowhere near getting Exodia. You only have one card in your hand, and I pretty much won. Pretty much. I'm gonna go and swim the monster. Just in case he has a trap that he didn't use last turn that negates like one attack of the monster or something, you know? Because he can't have a turn to attribute, so I wasn't risking that by summoning a new monster, but. Yep, there we go. I did it. Okay, so next up is this pack. One of the better packs in the beginning of the game, honestly. Heavy Storm! Look at that! What the hell is this? Oh yeah, the most useless effect ever. Sort of deep-seated. No, not good. Do not ever put cards that put your card on top of your deck. It's a stupid move. Seriously. Okay, next up is Yugi Moto. Let's duel him. Alright. 
Let's see, 1600. Hmm. I'm gonna begin with this. Mystical Elf in Defense Mode. Alright, what you got? Do something, Yugi, come on. Do something. Oh, good thing I put that monster because you are not going to. What? You cheater. No, don't eat. No, no, no. You are a cheater. If I would have put like this card in the fence, you would have attacked it. Don't even give me that. Don't even give me that. God damn, man. <sighs> Let's see what I can do here. This is risky because he has a face down. I'm in trouble, aren't I, if I do this? Shit. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Damn, I now have to put my stupid mystical elf again. And I don't have any good monster destruction in my deck. I'm actually in like really deep trouble. I could... Uh, I'm just going to use Skull Dice and try to destroy Gemini Elf next turn, honestly. So I'll just take the damage this turn. Hopefully you don't lay down any more cards face down. Oh, I want to see one thing though. Okay. That's fine. Don't play cards face down. Thank you. Okay, let's see what I got. Luster Dragon. Uh, that's not gonna help. So I have Girochin. I need at least a three if I want to destroy that Gemini Elf. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. I can summon Girochin Kuwagata. And then destroy your Gemini Elf. Problem is, though, this guy has a... Okay, see, because the, the Luxted is actually very relevant in this freaking game. It really is. Just because... You'll see that he draws a lot of clutch... And I've noticed that, too. When I when I duel with Yugi, like, off-screen, or, like, before the Lux play, you know? Like, he he has, like, Destiny draws all the time, which is so annoying. Okay, so... Go ahead and summon a Whiptail Crow. I need monsters right now in the field. You know, I need numbers. I'm not gonna sacrifice the Luster Dragon. No way. Okay, go ahead and destroy that Fire Reaper. And then you, Girochin, can go ahead and attack that face down. Alright. So he has still four cards in his hand though, so I'm not really... I can't say I have hand advantage yet. I don't. Okay. Put defense mode. I can use Tribute to the Doom. Actually, I will. I'm gonna do that. Let's do it. Tribute to the Doomed. I'm gonna go ahead and discard my weakest card, which would be Robbie. And destroy that. Okay, it was a normal monster though. Let's go ahead and summon Man Eating Treasure Chest. So now I can attack with all three this turn, which will do some massive damage to you. Bam, look at that, 1700. Whiptail Crow. There we go. And then finally. Man eating treasure chest. Alright, he's down to 28 fifth now. If he draws a good card, though, I'm in trouble. Oh no! Okay, that's. Oh shit. Oh no. Why? Why did I do this? I need something to destroy him now before he goes berserk on me, man. He's gonna go freaking. Uh oh. That's not going to help. Problem is, I have this guy who's not really going to help either. Hmm. Because he is weaker. Um, I put Mystical off in defense mode. Enter battle phase with... Girochin. Please be like a Cyber Jar or something. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, man. Okay. Hem turn. He's putting in defense mode, and he has a face down. I'm luckily have Harpy's card to negate that, but I'm still somewhat scared. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. Harpy's feather duster. Blow up your junk. What is that? Magic jammer. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and put this card in defense mode. And an attack with Girochin Kuwagata. This freaking monster. Sangan, that's not good. 
no shit. I am in deep trouble right now. I seriously am. Because he's about to place that penguin soldier in defense mode. Okay, I don't think he did. Also, why aren't you attacking my face-up attack? Like, seriously? I keep drawing monsters. That's not what I want. Alright, destroy him. In addition to fate, that's not good. He's gonna freaking right gecky me. Or that. Oh my god, man. You've gotta be... I was so close, but I... I can't do anything, because my cars are shit. Oh, wait, wait, what in- what? Why did you do that? Okay, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and do this then. Let's sacrifice you. Am I seriously gonna win? Oh my god, if I win, you are the dumbest freaking person ever, Yuki. I mean, yes, you have luck on your side, a luck stat of 5, you probably didn't see that, but you might be stupid. Oh my god, you're stupid. Luckily, your stupidity um, overcame your uh, luck in this duel, and I won the duel because of that. You could have probably easily won the duel. You had a penguin soldier in your hand, you had a cyber tech alligator, you had so much that you could have done. You had a monster point that you could use again. Oh well, I win. Okay, so... The last pack is this one. Let's open it. So this one only has uh, pretty much ritual monsters, as you can see, and ritual spell cards. So it's Relinquish, the Crew Rider, the Masked Beast, and Super War Lion. So yeah, you know... That's that. Okay, let me go in and quickly say what I'm going to be doing off-screen. Grinding a little bit, of course. So, because in my Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, I only duel an opponent one time each, this means that in the next video, I'm going to be uh, dueling the Tier 2 duel. So you can see that these are all Tier 1 by looking at the stars. You can see it says 001 1 star, 002 1 star, 003 1 star, and so on. So, duelists 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 are all Tier 2 duelists. So um, I'm going to be unlocking all those. I'll just, I'll just tell you how to do it. You have to beat all Tier 1 duelists three times each. Okay, so that means I would have to duel them two more times each. And you also have to obtain at least 50% of all the cards within the first five packs. For example, if you obtain 50% of all the cards in the Blue Eyes White Dragon pack, you will obtain duels number six. If you obtain 50% of all the cards in the uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon pack, you'll obtain duels number seven. 50% in Black Skull Dragon, duels number eight. 50% in Barrel Dragon, duels number nine and 50% in Black Luster Soldier, duels number 10. So basically, in these next uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 duels, I'll be getting a bunch of packs, you know, and opening them, and that's pretty much it. It's just repetitiveness, pretty much, just grinding, and that's it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I'd appreciate it very much, thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.